Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Can you hear can you hear me, guys? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Hi, how are you? How is everyone doing? <laughs> Happy I'm Wednesday. So sad. <laughs> so so oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. It's barely Wednesday and we feel like it's Friday already from tiredness. <laughs> Good evening, how are you? All right, so <laughs> perfect, I'm glad. Now listen, tonight we're gonna start the class again. Remember, every class we're gonna try to start with a random question, right? Con una pregunta al azar, so you can practice conversation improvising, right? So the tonight's question is going to be, what is the difference? And this is according to you, in your opinion, guys. What's the difference between patience and procrastination? And I'm gonna share the question here in the chat, okay? When I find the chat. In your opinion, what's the difference? Procrastination and what? Patience and procrastination. That's the, the question for tonight to open the, the, the conversation topic, okay? The random topic. What's the difference, in your opinion, guys? What's the difference between patience and procrastination? And this is an open question. Remember, I'm not asking you to use a specific time or a specific tense or not. This is a free topic, right? You can answer as you feel. Is it or is it the same? In my yeah. opinion, sorry. Go ahead, Wendy, please. Okay. In my opinion, patient, eh, the, uh, the thing, the thing, eh, make the thing with patience, but um, make very well. Okay, they are done oh, better, slowly but oh, well. Better, yes. Okay, and slowly but well. Uh, is uh, no, I, I, I don't, I don't make the the thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Yesterday or tomorrow? Time, yes. All it's right. Procrastination. It's kind of like that. That is correct. Thank you, Wendy, for your answer. Let's see, Jorge, you were going to say something. Uh, just to, to know about procrastination, meaning is like delay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, so uh, the difference between the two words, I think, uh, procrastination is uh, maybe like take a pause, pause, you can say pause. In an indefinite pause. <laughs> and the, the other one is? Patience. Patience uh, is somebody that, that, uh, can, uh, how do you say, Even. receive Even. Uh, mm -hmm. maybe some advice with, with some kind of tolerance or something. Exactly. Like Patience is related to tolerance, right? Procrastination is related to delaying, right? So that's like the, the, the main difference, okay? So the next question related to the same topic, right? So the question is, who is the most who is the most patient person that you know? And why do you think they are so patient? Who is the most patient person you know? And why do you think they are so patient? In my case, I'm going to tell you, in my case, I think the most patient person I know is my mother. I don't know how she does it, but she has extreme level of patience. She is a teacher for um, second graders in a public school. So she, she, she has to have patience in her daily work, right? 
But apart from that, when she's in in the house with her family or with her friends, she is always extremely patient with everyone. I think, I think it's because because the second question is why do you think they are so patient? I think she's so patient because she doesn't pay attention to many things. <laughs> So usually it's not that she's patient, it's that she doesn't pay attention to people. <laughs> That's what I think. So what about you guys? Who is the most patient person that you know? I agree with you, teacher, because uh -huh. uh, in my opinion, I think the teacher are the most people that I know because uh -huh. you have to, to be tolerant with the the students that there are they that they have a different level to to learn and to understand that you want to to teach him mm -hmm. that's one point uh, now imagine with kids right second graders <laughs> what about everybody else i want to hear the other ones let's see olga who is the most patient person that you know in your life and why do you think he or she is so patient. Um, hi, teacher. Hi. hi, good evening, Olga. The most special? Patient, the most patient person that you know in your life. And why do you think they are so patient? I don't understand, teacher. Paciente, la persona más paciente que usted conozca, the most patient ah. person? Maybe my mom. Okay. Why do you think she's so patient? Because she she uh, was um, she. She was raised. Crio. She was raised at. Uh, Nine hijos, hijos nine. E hijas. with nine children. Uh -huh. Nine children, and right now she uh -huh. <laughs> she have patience. Him. All right, Rowena. She had to have patience. Very good. Thank you. Olga. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And now listen, guys. These type of questions, like doing them random, and I'm going to say this in Spanish. Ese es el tipo de preguntas que se les van a hacer en entrevistas de trabajo o en entrevistas para becas o estudios en otro país. Cualquiera que sea su meta futuro con el inglés, se les hacen preguntas al azar. La idea es sacar al estudiante de su zona de confort para asegurarnos de que el estudiante no lleva algo memorizado y solo eso sepa decir, right? So, parte de ese ejercicio es lo que vamos a estar haciendo cada clase. Hacerles una pregunta al azar y que ustedes traten de defenderse con lo que tienen hasta ahorita, right? No se les pide un, tem un tiempo gramatical en específico para que contesten, sino solamente que contesten con lo que puedan. Right? So, very good job, Olga. <laughs> you did it right. Next, let's see. I want to hear Mario. Mario Villeda. Who is the most patient person that you know? The most famous person. The most patient. La persona más paciente, patient. Mario. The patient. most patient person that you know in your life. Um, and why do you think they are so patient? Most patient person. I have a boss okay. some years ago. And actually it was my second job. All right. Um he he taught, he gave me an order and I tried to to finish, mm -hmm. but almost 60, 70%, I finished wrong. <laughs> okay. So he take the time to explain step by step, how, how could I, I can do it. Okay. So yeah, I think this is, yeah. That was the most patient person, you know. <laughs> Very good. That's a good example. You answered your question. You've seen an experience. Very good, Mario. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. 
perfect. Okay, now, do you know, guys, this is the third question related to this. Do you think people in other cultures are more relaxed than we are in El Salvador? Do you think people in other cultures are too relaxed? Okay, do you think people in other cultures are too relaxed? And do you have examples of people in other countries that you know that they are lazy <laughs> compared to Salvadorians, of course? In this, in, in our country, teacher, or, or in other? No, in our country, we are hard workers, Manuel. We want to know if you know about other countries that they have the same, um, that they are not workers. If, but I, I, I consider, uh, for example, our compatriots. Mm -hmm. this, the yeah. compatriots at the United States, uh, I, I don't think is is relaxed. Uh, mm, okay, I think it depends on the tasks, right? Yes, it depends. When when you when you visit this country uh, for your vacation. Uh, Mm -hmm. That's correct. This is fantastic. But but if you if you go uh, to work, mm -hmm. uh, I I may I say may I say it's a it's a, a work for hard two or three uh, different works. Exactly. You know? mm -hmm. I think it depends. depends. Mostly Americans, for example. Americans, they don't like to do manual job. They don't like to do physical job. Americans love computer jobs, <laughs> yes. remote jobs, right? Technologies. Mm -hmm. Technology related. However, yes. people from other countries, they do the hard work, right? The act yes. physical activity, right? So it depends on what task we're talking about. Very good. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you when I was... 17 years old, many years ago, <laughs> when I was 17 yesterday. years old, <laughs> yesterday, <laughs> when, when I was 17 years old, I had my first job interview, guys, and I remember the first question that they asked me was a, a random question, una pregunta a la Sara, así como la que se les acaba de hacer a ustedes, and I, I will never forget it, they asked me, what would you do if one day you woke up and there is no ocean? What would you do? And I was like, and I started I talking, like, yeah, like, I like to me, it, I take it, I take it. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, wow, if I woke up like that, first of all, I would check on Google if it's true or if it is yeah. a fake news. I started There's talking. No, no more ocean. Exactly. So you gotta start talking. It, you don't have to think so too much. What the interviewer is trying to see is how easy you disinvolve speaking English, right? So take that into consideration. We will keep doing this exercise at the beginning of every class, okay? So who remembers what were we talking about last night? Let's see. You forgot. <laughs> last night we were talking about WH. WH. Mm -hmm. Correct, WH questions using reported speech, right? So. We saw this conversation. I'm gonna show the students manual with you right now. We saw this conversation. We saw it, um, I think on Monday, okay? So um, we're gonna read this conversation one more time. We're gonna need two people to read it. And then we're going to do an exercise similar to this. So right now I need two people to read it. One is going to be Alan and the other person is going to be Maria. And I need one person to read the introduction, please. Wendy, you will be Alan. Claudia, you will be Maria. And Jorge, please read the introduction. Okay. Alan, Alan is reporting some question a customer who's visiting their website is asking. Read the conversation to find out the answer. Maria suggests take turn practicing the conversation with a partner. Very good, thank you. So in this scenario, Alan is reporting questions to about a customer, right? And he's talking about the questions to Maria. 
Let's hear. Let's start, please. There's this customer in the downline store asking a lot of questions about the decorative pillow. What would the customer like to know about the product? Well, the customer asked if the shipping was for free and then this same person posted a different question. They asked whether the pillows were made, made in China or America. And finally, the customer asked if we have a return policy. Let the customer know that international shipping has an extra cost and tell them the pillows were were made in China and please post a link in the comments to return policy documents. Thank you, very good job. Okay, so what you guys are going to do right now is you're gonna go to the breakout rooms and you're going to create a conversation between two or three of you. One of you is going to be reading from the web. Imagine this is the scenario. You have a web page. You have a specific web page for your business. And one of you, is reading the questions and comments from the customers in the web page, and is going to read questions to the other person. One is going to be the supervisor, and the other one can be the assistant, etc. Right? And you will have to create. You will have to use one, two, minimum three times, yes or no questions, in reported speech or wh questions in reported speech, as you wish. Right? Minimum requirement right now it's three, three, okay? You can alternate WH or yes or no, but they have to be in reported speech. Remember the scenario, you have a business, you have a web page. one of you is talking, reading the comments from the customers to the other person. And you, this is the scenario, right? It has to be similar to what you're seeing here, okay? So I am gonna give you 10 minutes to prepare the conversation. Then we will come back and check if we need more time or if we are ready. Two points. First of all, make sure it's a not long, but not too short conversation. It has to be average. Not too long, but not too short conversation, right? It has to have minimum three type of these questions that I told you. It has to be a fluent conversation, both or if there are three people in the, in the team, the three have to participate. I want to hear a conversation that flows, okay? So we're gonna give first 10 minutes. We're gonna come and check and then we go from there, okay? I'm gonna open the breakout rooms right now and I'm gonna try to give maximum three people for each. The rooms are open, you can enter and you will have 10 minutes starting from 8.20 until 8.30. Tatiana, can you enter to the room, please? Tatiana, Indiana, necesito que entren a la sala, por favor, para trabajar. Also, Mario and Carlos. Diana, Olga is waiting for you in room number four.
Diana, what happened? You didn't enter the breakout room? Uh-huh. 
No, pero bueno. Where no will, where will, where will, nada. For travel. Pasaba a ver si con ayuda o si tienen preguntas o dudas. Sí, queremos preguntar cómo podríamos decir a dónde viaja fulanito. <ríe> Porque no le atiende. O a dónde um, viajará fulanito. En future, where is. Uh, sería where is el nombre de la persona traveling to. Where is fulanito. Where is... No, se, no, se usaría, no se usaría el where is teacher. Perdón. Where no se usaría el will. Will. Sí, pueden mm -hmm. preguntar también. También usando will. Tienen opciones. Ustedes pueden hacer ese en present progressive para futuro. O pueden usar mm -hmm. where will fulanito travel to. Mm, okay. si es will, entonces sí se puede ahí. Will. will, where, will where will fulanito ah, travel will. Ah, fulanito mm -hmm. will travel to. O the client will travel to. Mm -hmm. Es que ahí me va a decir, el fulanito me dijo que viajaba a tal parte. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Fulanito said that he would travel, porque ya lo pasamos al pasado. Pero dice que uh -huh. cuando ya lo estamos reportando, cuando lo estamos contando, le cambiamos el tiempo al tiempo pasado de la oración en que nos están contando, ok? Ah, pues es más okay. complicado si le metemos el will. No, solo van a cambiar la would. Solo van a cambiar will. la would. Ajá. Uh -huh. He said he would travel to. Where will mm -hmm. is the client travel? En futuro es where will. Así como where suena. Will where will the client. Nada más vea. Ajá. Where will the, the first travel. customer travel? Ajá. Uh -huh. Y a cuando contesto con reported speech, voy a decir, ah, he said, él me dijo en pasado, que él mm -hmm. iba a viajar. That he would travel to. El, lo he... único que voy a hacer es que el will lo cambie por would. Uh -huh. Entonces, mm. he would. Uh -huh. He would travel to. Esa es la respuesta cuando va. Yo digo, when will first customer travel? Y la uh -huh. respuesta a eso sería, he would. He said, he would. He said, uh -huh. Porque es, he él said, dijo que iba a viajar. He said, he would travel. He would to. No, sin el. Ah, sin ese lugar, sí. He will mm -hmm. travel to Canada, un ejemplo. He will travel to Canada. O oh, lo que mm -hmm. sea. Okay. Correct. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. La veo unos Thank minutos. You. Okay. Okay, we're back to the main session. I need to check. How are you doing? Are you 
finished? Are you done? Or do you need a few more minutes to complete the task? We need more minutes, more five minutes. All right, perfect. Is everybody else in the same position? Do you need more time? Yes, yes teacher. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Okay, I'm yes, going to open the rooms again. The rooms are open. Go back to the rooms, finish your task. You have five more minutes. Teacher Tatiana is in available. 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 Do you want to change uh, to another group, Claudia? Can I make the group with Claudia? Uh, my, yes. my, my face <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> Ana está en el número cinco ahorita. Gracias. Por ustedes voy a dar ocho minutos, voy a dar tres minutos más, así que píquenle, ladies. Gracias. <laughs> All right. Tiene que entrar a la sala. <laughs> eh, no me salió el mensajito, teacher. Ah, Pero me lo voy a mover ahorita. La, no, no acepto todavía, ok. Yo le digo. Ahora.
Okay, and we are back. Before we start with the conversations, I want to check the list. I want to take the attendance. So bear with me for a minute. Be ready, please, for when I say your name. Today is Wednesday the 21st. So we're starting with Ana Raquel Villalta. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Jorge Humberto Vela. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Jose Rodrigo Hernández. Juan Carlos Rivas Jovel. Presente. Presente. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Ivette Márquez. Manuel Antonio Peña. Palma. Oh, Palma, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guessed it. <laughs> Maria Concepcion Ceron. Present. Cambiar los apellidos es mi pasión. <laughs> the, thank you, Maria. Maria Elena Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Villeda. Nelson Gabarrete Merino. Present, Miss. Thank you. Norma Carolina. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Silvia Suleima Rodríguez. Tatiana Michelle Sánchez. Present teacher, yes, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Many. <laughs> no worries, okay. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Present teacher. Thank you, and Christian Natalie. Teacher, I'm here, Mario Villeda. Mario Villeda, let me check. Mario. Okay, thank you, Mario, for letting me know. Okay. So now we're gonna go with the conversations. We're gonna hear the first group, which is Jorge Humberto and Manuel Antonio, please. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Okay, Manuel, you start. Okay, okay. Uh, hello, George. I want hello, to talk my, my first experience in uh, online shopping. Hello, Manuel, what happened to you? Okay, George. Uh, the last week I bought a cell phone in eBay, but the screen of cell phone was broken. I made the claim to eBay. What was the answer from eBay about the screen broken? Okay, they told me the uh, feed the school, uh, the police uh, return is inside of box. Well, I'm glad to hear that. And for sure, you get the new cell phone as soon as possible. Uh, when the website said you, you received the new cell phone. Okay. Uh, I will receive my my product in one month. Okay, that seems the conversation, teacher. All right, <laughs> I heard that you used one sentence in reported speech. Did you include more? And maybe I missed it. Um, Just uh, to be sure, <laughs> if you use one, it's fine. Uh, I think is when the website said you remember the new cell phone. Okay. What was the answer for eBay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it's what you mentioned, right? That you solo faltó la parte de reportarlo. They said that I would receive my product in two months, right? Okay. That would be it. Mm -hmm. But other than that, very good job. That's a very fluent conversation. You didn't have silent gaps, right? So that's very good, guys. 
Nice. Thank you, Vivian. Very good. Yeah. Thanks for the effort. Now we're going with room number three. We have Juan de Dios and Nelson Cabarrete. Juan de Dios and Nelson, we're waiting for you. Okay. Sorry, I was in, in mute. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm going to share my okay. screen. Okay. 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 I want, there is a customer in San Miguel and the skill for achieving and he I want to, to know on many is the cost to, to this place. How many or how much? How many? How much? How much, correct. Cuanto es el costo? How much is the cost? Uh -huh. How much? Hello, mm -hmm. Nelson. Fantastic for our businesses. How much does he buy? The buy is uh, for uh, a cheap, a cheap dollar. 60. Because, uh, 60 dollars, sorry. Because it's uh, in line uh, too far or it's not lying. Okay, please tell him that if, if he buy just to pair, the cost is for $5. And if he can buy three pair, the cost is $3. The cost for shipping is free if he buys at least one dozen. And let him know our return policy. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Juan. I will, I will let him to know. All right, very good. Just a few details. Just a few details, guys. Um, please tell him, Sariya, please tell him in present, right? Please tell I'm him. Not, not. Uh -huh. Sorry. Please tell him. In the last oración, I will let him sing it too. I will let him know. Yes. Uh, Other than okay. that, guys. I will, I will let him know. Yes, I will let him know. Other than that, guys, very good job. No grammar you, issues, teacher. you just reported the speech. So very good, thank you for participating. Let's see right now, we're going with the next group. That would be room number four. In room number four, we're showing Diana, Olga, and Wendy Manivel, please. I sell travel tickets. Oh, really? Yes, it's my job. How many tickets did you sell yesterday? I sold three travel tickets. Where will the first customer travel? He said he will travel to Los Angeles. He mentioned the reason for this trip? Yes, he said, he said, he will visit his girlfriend. Girlfriend. That's all. That Very good. You used the sentences in reported speech, Wendy and Olga. Thank you. <laughs> good job. It was a fluent conversation. No silent gaps. So if I hear there are like silent gaps, espacios de silencio, I'm like. Mm. No, right. But in this case, there were no gaps. So very good job. It was a very fluent conversation. And more important, you used correctly the reported speech. So very good job, ladies. Thank you. Okay. Now moving forward, we are going with room number five. Ana Raquel and Claudia Maria and Juan Carlos Rivas, please. Okay. Ready, Claudia? <laughs> uh, Hi, this morning a client visit us and ask a question. What did she, she ask, Anna? Uh, she asked about how to get the credit card. Oh, okay. It is necessary to present our 
her identity document in her work certificate? Oh, she asked if she can't present all work certificates. No, it is important that it is recent. What is the expiration date of the identity document? Uh, she said that had the, the identity document expired. The document expired in January. Oh, Anna, is, it is not possible to serve her. Okay, I will advise her on that. Anna told her that our policy said that the identity document can only have 10 days of expiration to ask a credit card. That's all, teacher. Very good, ladies. It was very good. <laughs> Thank you. I know you had less time than the rest to prepare the conversation, but you did it great. You did a good job. Very good. You just reported the speech. It was fluent and good pronunciation. So it worked nice. Thank you for the effort. And last but not least, we're going with room number six. We have Maria Concepcion and Maria Elena Guadalupe, please. Hi, Maria Concepcion. Hello, Maria Elena. How are you? I'm fine. Have you ever shopping online? Um, yes. Um, but um, before pandemic, um, what do you ask me? How do you have in mind? Yes, but I don't now have light shopping words. I see. I show you, but what do you need both? My cousin asked me about some shoes and how much shipping costs to our country and how um, now I want to buy. Um, she asked about shoes and how much does shopping cost to our country. Well, see you on Alibaba. Thank you for your help. Okay, thank you. Nice ladies, you are using reported speech. That was a very fluent conversation. <laughs> thank you. Very good job. Also good intonation. Nice. Okay, so right now we're going to go. Let me check. Where is the book? Okay, we're going to do a reading exercise right now. So I'm going to need some volunteers to read because we have we have quite a few paragraphs. Okay, so let me check. We have, I'm going to need one person to read the introduction. Um, then it's one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to need six readers, okay? First person is going to read the introduction. Um, Tatiana, please, you will read the introduction. Juan de Dios, you will read number one, availability of free shipping. Wendy, number two, is of use. Olga, number three, please, available payment methods. Mario, help me with number four, please, returning cancellation. And Jorge, please help me with number five, online reviews. And that's gonna be, let's start please, Tatiana. Oh, just a moment, please, uh, Tatiana. Just for you to know, you will read the paragraph and then you are going to retell me the story, what you read in the paragraph in your own words, right? What you understood from the paragraph. What is it talking about, right, in your words? Thank you. Let's start, Tatiana, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, online purchases are increasingly big coming the preferred way to stop with the US shop, shop with the, <laughs> sorry uh, the US having around uh, 200 million mm -hmm. online buyers alone and the economy expected to reach uh, for uh, 400 Four hundred ninety-one point five billion mm -hmm. by uh, two thousand eighty. Eighteen. Eighteen. How, however, only a quarter of small businesses in the U.S. are selling online. Customer can shop on the go or from the comfort of their homes. 
if reports are to be believed. Online stores are as successful as brick and mortar stores, and least in some, how, how do you pronounce that? At least in some niche. Niche. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. However, still a large portion of customers prefer to shop from physical stores. So how does one win this customer as well? Read to find out what customers see when buying online. Okay. Before you okay. tell me your own words uh, or your, what you understood before that, Tatiana, let me just give you some vocabulary. Brick and mortar. Brick and mortar stores means the physical store, okay? Okay. Online stores is, you know, on the internet and brick and mortar store is the physical store, okay? The actual, like, you go to Siman, that's the brick and mortar, right? And online, Siman.com is the online store, all right? Niche, this means a small groups, a specific groups, okay? For example, only perfumes, it's a niche. Only coffee is a niche. Only hospitals is a niche, right? Like exclusive groups of something, that is a niche. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Uh, they are talking about the, the quantity of people prefer online, buy online or the people who prefers by a uh, physical stores and they are they are talking about the online shop is increasing uh, in the us because they have uh, around uh, 200 million online mm -hmm. buyers that means is is more than than physical shopping mm -hmm. and, but they they talk about too about the the how how they can buy well by physical store and online stores that Correct. I, very good perfect and that's the point that you have to translate into your own version right what you understood in your own words very good Tatiana you conveyed the message correctly thank you let's go with number one please Availability of free shipping. This is an almost essential option a customer have come to expect it from every online vendor. Plus buyers are expected to spend up to 30% more if uh, businesses offer free shipping. If you cannot, afford this then at least try to offer shipping on a specific promotional items to attract customers a whole number of people, a huge a huge number of people prefer buying online to save to save time and money spend on going to a store if they have to spend on spend on shipping the then they might just prefer a trip to the store plus reports say that buyers are even willing to wait a few extra days if they get free delivery giving seller a chance to offer even more mm -hmm. very good all right let's see if i can help you with vocabulary before you start um afford afford that you can access right if you cannot afford meaning if you cannot pay for something right afford is to pay that you have access to pay for something um como se diría en español cuando si te puedes permitir comprar algo acceder like that right that's afford when you can permit yourself to buy something Mm -hmm. That you can afford, que se puede pagar, right? Afford. Es como right? poder, poder adquisitivo, no. Exactly. Exactly like that, yes. And then we have huge. Huge. Huge means humongous, something, a big quantity. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Enorme. A huge number. Una gran, un gran número de personas, right? Willing. Uh -huh. Willing, where is it? Oh, here. Yeah. Willing, tener la voluntad. Está en verbo to be, están, pero lo interpretamos a tener la voluntad. Incluso tienen la voluntad de esperar, right? Uh -huh. Willing, tener, willing to, tener la voluntad de. Uh -huh. All right, now is your turn in your own words, Juan de Dios. What is the paragraph talking about? The paragraph is talking about the uh, more cost, more uh, customer prefer uh, to uh, wait extra days to receive this the product uh, by uh, online and. Um, save money and time, mm -hmm. and time uh, if they move to the shop or store or uh, they don't want to pay for shipping. Correct. Very good. That's basically what they're saying, right? We save time. Ideally, shipping, we prefer it. Imagine if you go to a physical store, you have to drive. If you have a car, you have to waste gas, gas of it, right? Or if you go by bus or if you go by Uber, you are spending money to go to the store. So maybe you're willing to spend a few bucks to pay for shipping, right? Very good, Juan de Dios. Let's go with number two, ease of use. Okay. Discover uh, myriad. Myriad. Hmm? Myriad of factors including the ability availability oh no yeah ability no sorry ability, <laughs> ability to search for product and filter according to the need by color brand gender etc having all these use usability mm -hmm. Usability fe features, features, uh -huh. features in place in in a sorry in mm -hmm. in haste, mm -hmm. enhances. In haste enhances the online shopping experience, making it easier for buyers to get what they want. Also, make sure that the navigation is efficient. And that the overall website works at a fast speed. Slow merchant website often cause cause users to get frustrated and abandon the purchase. Plus, a lot of people even get distracted at the time of checkout. Do due to various reasons, including a complex registration method, sudden increase in purchases, etc. According to report, business file fi fi to show shipping costs in the beginning is a major reason why many buyers decide to not, not to, not to by at the time of Chicago. All right, thank you. Okay, Wendy, we're gonna check vocabulary. All right, myriad, tal cual, una miriada, right? A lot of people, a lot of factors in this case, right? Myriad? Myriad, miriada, meaning a lot, significando muchos, miles de, right? Uh, much, okay, yes. And then enhances, mejora. Enhances. Mejora. Mejora. Okay. Uh -huh. And then, I don't know if there's another word that you don't understand from this part. Okay. Is there another word that you don't recognize? Purchase. Purchase. 
Adquisición. Purchase, adquisición. Flow is lento, no. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And now in your own words, Wendy, what did you understand from the paragraph? I understand um, oh also talking, is perdón, talking la, about, la palabra is facilidad. Talking about uh advice process or it is easy mm -hmm. for uh, people people decirlo. Uh, para uno, no sé cómo uh, for some people for some people it's mm -hmm. easy and it's speed and other people consider slow merchants and fr fr frustrate and get frustrated abandon, uh -huh. abandon mm -hmm. the, the operation or, or the exactly the mm -hmm. transaction, transaction. yes Exactly, the transaction. Perfect. Thank you, Wendy. That is correct, right? Thank That's you. what paragraph two is saying. Correct. Let's go with number three, please. Okay. Available payment methods. Be sure to offer your customer the most common payment method. The regular credit card, debit card, and paper are a must. Additional option will also be useful in driving in driving up conversion rates. Plus, if you are a local store, then pay a doorstep may also be a convenient option since a number of users still are not sure of giving credit card information online. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if we have vocabulary here. Conversion rates, tasa de conversión. Conversion rates, tasa de conversión. And then, yeah, PayPal, it's a method of payment. PayPal es un método de pago, right? It's, it's like having a credit card or debit card in a, in a web page. Okay. Pay, pay mm -hmm. a step. Which one? In blue. Oh, in blue. Pay, a, pay, a... pay a doorstep. En la pago en la entrada de su casa. Okay. Pay a okay. doorstep. Uh -huh. Okay, Olga. What did you understand from paragraph three? In your own words. I think about this. The company have to have the physical method and mm -hmm. online method for, for customer pay. Mm -hmm. Be, but uh, some customers don't prefer uh, pay with credit card or, or debit card because then don't don't they don't trust no confident they don't trust yeah. yes in the method online for your information personal that is, information that is correct oh yeah that is a valid that that is a valid point very good and that's exactly what they're saying in paragraph three thank you okay do you guys prefer to pay by transfer? Or do you prefer to pay by credit or debit card when you're doing online shopping? Well, if you have the options, it feels good, right? Because you get to choose. But if there is no option, like only PayPal, for example, makes it difficult, right? Let's go with number four, please. Returns and cancellation policy. Return and collection policies. The, the rules for returns and or cancellations play a role in the consumer decision. Customers today want to 
increasing flexibility from merchant online shopping. He seems a risk because the customer does not physically verify the purchase. Being, being able to return the product and get refunds is an added bonus for the customer. Business should clearly state the rules and, pr and procedure for canceling and refunding orders. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Vocabulary. Mm. Yeah, I don't see any vocabulary here that you, is there something that you don't understand from this? Any vocabulary, Maria? No, right? Okay. Refunds. Refunds. Reembolsos. Refunds. Reembolsos. Yes. Okay, Mario, what do you understand in your own words from this paragraph? It's a policy because depends of the store of all the merchants is a additional bonus, well, by the way, but mm -hmm. exactly. in case in a uh, influence about the decision, uh, the final decision of the customer. Correct. It helps. Mm -hmm. the, when we buy online, we don't see the products in general. We don't mm -hmm. see a picture. So, Depends about the travel, tax, uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. um, box, boxes in the front, in, mm -hmm. in the front, I don't know, mm -hmm. uh, how many handle. Mm -hmm. So if I, I order, for example, a TV, and when I, I finally have the TV in my hands, I see the, it's broken, it's a, a guarantee. They can, mm -hmm. I can refund. Return. Okay. You can return it and get a refund. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good, Mario. You gave examples and everything. Nice. Thank you. And let's go with number five, please. Number five, on, online reviews of your business. Encourage your customer to leave reviews and feedback. This will help you build a credible online reputation. Customers will make purchase quickly from a business that has positive reviews. People don't just check the Facebook page. They tend to look at objective third party website for reviews of the businesses as well. So pay attention to comments and complaints on major websites and respond uh, appropriately. About 88% of customers say that they read reviews in order to determine the quality of product and businesses. Also having your own blog help as well. According to report, about 30% buyers are influenced to buy a product after reading a blog. These are the five most important things that a customer will pay attention to. However, this is not it since business and buyer are different. You need to study your target audience and then work according. However, these five tips will definitely help. All right, thank you. Encourage, animar. Animar o anime, right? Anime a sus clientes. Encourage. Feedback. Retroalimentación. Okay. And then... Do you see any other word? Complaints. Quejas. Complaints. Quejas. And then... I don't see any more vocabulary that may be different. Do you see a oh, target audience? Publico meta. Publico meta. All right. I don't know if you have any other word that you want to know. 
Okay, so you can go ahead and tell me in your own words, honey, what you understood from this paragraph. Um, well, in my own words, I, uh, in my opinion, this paragraph is about to, to the confidence that a website have and how people can can buy if they they are confident the website are a good website and that mm -hmm. depends on the maybe the, the, the advice that they they have in, in the in the same in the same website and uh, people don't want to 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 buy in a website when they have to to, to buy like a three party or like an intermediate. Mm -hmm. That is right, right? Very important, online reviews. When you go to a Facebook page or an Instagram page of a new restaurant or a store, do you read the reviews, guys? Stay in the reviews. Do you read the reviews? Right? You know, this is comparable to pupuserias in El Salvador. If you hear that a pupuseria is good, you go there. But if you don't hear anything about that, you don't go there. Even if it's in front of your house, right? If you don't hear recommendations, you don't go there. <laughs> uh, teacher. Yes. When when I when if I want if I want to buy maybe a jeans or maybe a, a t shirt, I I look for the review because you don't know if the if the clothes size and fit or fit. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is important when you have to buy clothes. Yeah, and that's really tricky. Buying clothes online is really difficult because you never know if they're going to be accurate sizing. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to move forward and we're going to do an exercise right now. I'm going to share the screen with you guys. Let me know when you're seeing the student's manual again, please. Yes, teacher. All right. So this is a summary, OK? This is a summary. This is the condensed. This is a summary, condensed summary of the reported speech for yes or no questions. And we have an exercise. We're, we're going to do this as an exercise, OK? So simple present. We have the rules in here. When reporting things that other people say or ask, the verb often shift back. Yes or no questions or yes or no questions. This type of question is reported by using as, want, by using as, want to know plus if or whether, plus close, right? Remember, when you are reporting yes or no questions, you can start the report using the verb ask. He asked me this. He wants, he wanted to know it, this, right? And because it's a yes or no, you will and you will use it with the conditional if, or you can use the conditional whether, right? Very important. It's telling us that the verb is going to shift back, okay? And I'm gonna say this in Spanish because I know there are some people that it's it's a little bit more difficult to get it, okay? Lo voy a decir esto en español entre paréntesis. Porque sé que a veces algunos lo captamos mejor cuando nos lo dicen en español, ¿ok? Esto va a ser como el paréntesis. Cuando ustedes van a reportar algo que se les dijo, una pregunta, si alguien les hizo a ustedes una pregunta de sí o no, y van a reportarla, van a hacer reported speech para contarla. Para anunciarlo, van a usar el verbo as o pueden usar want to know. Y la combinación para el sí o no sería if, el condicional, o puede ser el whether. Un factor bien importante es que el tiempo, cuando dice el, el tiempo gramatical, por lo general, shifts back. Se va un tiempo atrás. Y aquí tienen la combinación. Si está en presente, se va a ir a pasado. ¿Ok? Si está en pasado, se va a ir a pasado perfecto. ¿Ok? Y el, si está en futuro, ocupo el pasado de futuro, que sería would. Si está en, con will, la oración, voy a ocupar would. Ok. Y aquí vamos a hacer unos ejercicios de práctica. Ok. First, I need two volunteers to read this. Ok. One, 
we are going to do simple present and simple past. One person will read this box. We need three people to read. One person is going to read each box. So I need three volunteers to read, please. Claudia Maria, help me with the first box. Manuel Antonio, help me with the second box. And Maria Elena, help me with the last box, please. Simple present, simple past. Customer, is there a special discount for this product before the speech? The customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product. Customer, can these be purchased in the UK or only in the US? Before the speech, the customer asked if the product will be purchased in the UK or only in the US. Thank you. Okay, pay attention to the first word, simple present. If the sentence is in present, when I report it, I will report it in simple past, okay? So right now we're going to do an exercise. Antes de que leamos las demás cajitas, we're going to do an exercise. Everyone, I want everyone to ask, write down a question. I want everyone, I want everyone to write down a question in your notebooks and the question has to be in simple present, okay? Everyone, you have two minutes, write down one question in simple present. It has to be a yes or no question. Don't make WH questions or information questions, no. Yes or no question. Again, you're going to write down one yes or no question in simple present in your notebooks. It can be about anything. Are you happy? Is she your mother? Are we in the office? It can be anything. In simple present, one yes or no question. I'm gonna give you two minutes. You are not going to write the reported question, no. Only one question in simple present, yes or no question. Real uh, sentence? Or what? We're waiting for a minute one. We're waiting. Those of you who have the sentence, the question in simple present, yes or no question. If you have it ready, raise your hand, please. We're gonna start doing the exercise for you. The ones that have the sentence written down, let's raise the hand, please. And here's what we're going to do. Okay, los que ya terminaron la oración, La pregunta en presente, simple, simple present, ¿sí o no? Raise your hand, levanten la mano, les vamos a ir asignando. What are we going to do? For example, María Elena will read her sentence first. And Manuel is going to change her sentence to the past using reported speech. Then Manuel will read his sentence in present and Claudia will change it to past using reported speech. And so on, y así vamos a ir, ¿de acuerdo? Ustedes no van a cambiar su oración, ustedes leen su oración en presente, su pregunta de sí o no en presente. El siguiente compañero la va, la va a reportar usando pasado, ¿ok? Estamos en esta combinación, así que todos van a dar una oración en presente y todos van a convertir una al pasado usando reported speech. Let's begin with María Elena, please. Read your sentence in present. Your question, please. Maria Elena, you're in mute. Excuse me. <laughs> okay, read your sentence and Claudia Maria, you will change it to reported speech in past. Maria Elena, please. For example, the chair. Uh, it has to be a yes or no question. Tiene que ser una pregunta de sí o no en presente, Maria. The product have a shipping 
Does the product have a shipping? Repeat, Maria. Does the product have a shipping? Mm -hmm. Shipping cost. Cost of envy, can I say? Okay. Yes. Okay, she Claudia. Asked, uh -huh. She asked if the product. She asked, she asked if the product. Oh, okay. Had a shipping. Yes, if the product had in past, right? If the product has a shipping cost. Very good, Claudia. You did it correct. Claudia, read your sentence in present, please. Your question in present. And Tatiana, you're going to change it to reported speech. Did she work at the bank? Again, Claudia, please. Did she work at the bank? Is she or does she work at the bank? That she. Uh -huh. Does she. Uh -huh. That she work at the bank. Tatiana, please. Uh, he asked. He asked me if she worked. She worked at the bank. Is that correct, Claudia? Yes. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Thank you, Tatiana. Tatiana, you're going to read your question in present. And where are the other volunteers? Donde están las demás manos? Qué bárbaros. <laughs> I want to see the hands, please. Volunteers to practice. Okay, thank you. Manuel, you are going to change Tatiana's sentence to report the speech, please. Tatiana, please. Uh, do you like coffee, Manuel? Manuel, you're in mute. Sorry, <laughs> teacher, tenía apagado. Uh, Tatiana asked me if I like the coffee. Very good. Is that correct, Tatiana? Yes. Very yes. good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Manuel, you're going to read your yes or no question in present. And where are the others? Where are the other hands? Please raise your hand. Faltan bastante de participar en este ejercicio y me interesa saber que, que lo podemos manejar. Veamos, manitas, please. Juan de Dios is going to change your sentence to report the speech, Manuel. Please read it in person. Okay. Okay. Live your mother in San Miguel Department. Mm, de nuevo esa pregunta, Manuel. Live your mother in San Miguel Department. Ajá, muchachos, todos los que han preguntado hasta ahorita se les ha olvidado el auxiliar en presente. Does your mother live? <laughs> ok. Does your mother live in San Miguel? Uh -huh. Juan de Dios. Ok. Eh, Manuel, ask me mm -hmm. if if eh, if my mother lived mm -hmm. in San Miguel. Yes, lived in San Miguel. Very good. Is that correct, Manuel? Yes. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Juan de Dios, you're going to read your, your question in present. And Olga Marlene is going to change it to report the speech. Okay. Uh, how much is the cost for the breakfast? He asked me how is the march the cost of my breakfast? Uh -huh. Pasemos el is a uh, pasado. How much? Mm, was, pasado de, uh -huh. How much was? It was the cost of my breakfast. Is that correct, Wendy? Correct. Yes. Yes. Very good. Thank you, Olga. Okay. We're going to continue. Read number two. Um, ¿Quién tenía la cajita número dos? Me, teacher. Okay, please read, Manuel. Okay. Simple past. 
past perfect. Mm -hmm. Customer uh, was a charge for shipping. Report is speech. The customer asked if he had been charged for shipping. Customer, did the package ar arrive? Report is, the customer wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. Very good. Have all of you guys already seen Past Perfect? Ya todos vieron el Past Perfect. ¿Cómo se usa? En el módulo anterior, en los módulos anteriores. Do you guys know how to use Past Perfect? Maybe many time ago. Okay. We're going to do a, just a quick refresh. Así como present perfect solo en el auxiliar have o has y el verbo en participio, el pasado perfecto es el auxiliar had y el verbo en pasado participio. Esa es toda la ciencia. <ríe> que el, en vez de have o has, su va a usar en pasado had y el verbo que sigue en participio. ¿Ok? Y aquí tienen el ejemplo, ¿verdad? La oración está en pasado. Was I charged for shipping? Acuérdense que la regla me dice cuando yo reporto una pregunta de sí o no, shift back. Entonces, el tiempo se va un tiempo atrás. Si ellos me preguntaron en pasado, yo la voy a reportar en pasado perfecto, ¿ok? Que es el que está más atrás de él. Entonces, si me dijeron, was I charged for shipping? The customer asked if he had been charged for shipping, ¿ok? Lo único va a ser had en pasado. Verbo en participio, verbo to be en participio, y luego el verbo que, haya, que se haya usado, right? Second one, did the package arrive? Está en pasado. Did the package arrive? The customer wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. Okay? You can switch it like that. What are we going to do right now? We are all going to write one question in past. Ahora todos van a escribir una pregunta de sí o no en pasado. Okay. You have two minutes. Todos escribimos una pregunta de sí o no en pasado. One question, teacher. Yeah. I, I remember many times ago when I studied English before uh, there are exist a matrix when you can see all the tense and it's, it's easy to, to understand the, the tense and like you say, it change one one grade of the of the tense. Mm -hmm. Do do you know where can I get that matrix? Mm, I I don't think we have a matrix here in, in this in in Insafort, but I can try to I can try to get one and show it to you tomorrow to see if it works, if it helps yeah. you. In, in my case, I. I feel I have problem with the tense of uh, to remember the difference. Remember mm -hmm. and, and, and yeah. using for a quick. Yeah, we can do that. We can. I can try to get you guys like a matrix, como cuáles son las estructuras de cada tiempo, right? Something like that. Definitely. Okay, I can try to get that for you guys and show it to you tomorrow and see if it helps you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. The ones that have already finished writing the yes or no question in pass, raise your hand, please. We're going to practice the second tense, right? Los que ya tienen su oración de sí o no en pasado, levanten la mano. Vamos a empezar a practicar el reported speech cambiando una oración de pasado. La vamos a reportar en pasado perfecto. Okay. Remember, y lo vuelvo a decir en español para los que tenemos alguna dificultad de algún tipo que no estamos, quizás el audio o algo de interferencia, lo voy a decir en español. 
Si la oración está en pasado, yo la voy a pasar a pasado perfecto. El pasado perfecto no es más que el had, been y un verbo en participio. Ok, that's it. All right, let's begin. Claudia María, please read your sentence. Tatiana, change her sentence to past perfect, please. Did he go to the movies? She asked me if I had. Active <laughs> listening. De nuevo, Claudia, por favor. Did she go to the movies? Did she go to the movies? She asked me if I had went to the movies. Okay. If I, if I have, if I had go, go to the movies. ¿Cuál es el participio de go? Gone. Went, gone. Went. Gone sería. El participio es el tercero. Went, go, went, gone. So gone sería nuestro participio. If I had gone to Correct. the movies. Lo único que hay. Y le voy a compartir la pizarra. Um, Claudia asked, did she go to the movie, right, Claudia? Yes. Okay, did she go to the movies? So, Tatiana sería, she asked me if she, ese she es una tercera persona que no está quizás presente, right? If she had gone to the movies, right? If she had gone to the movies. That's basically it, right? She asked me para reportar, luego el if, para el sí o no. She, y luego had, lo que les decía en pasado, y el verbo en participio. If she had gone to the movies. Very good. Thank you. I use the whiteboard because I think it's easier when we see the... the sentence and we can change the structure, right? Questions right now? No, thank you. Thank you, Claudia. Tatiana, read your sentence in your question in past and Juan de Dios, do the reported speech to past perfect, please. Okay. Did you apply for a new job position? Mm -hmm. Okay, Juan. You're in mute, Juan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, she asked me if I had applied to the new to the new position. Applied for a new position. Yeah, correct. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. Juan, please read your sentence in past. Manuel, do the reported speech into past perfect. Please. Was she working yesterday? That's not past. That's past progressive. Ah, uh, okay. Did she work yesterday? Very good. <laughs> Okay. Juan asked me if she had worked yesterday. Yes, very good. <laughs> I, it looks it's, like it's becoming you, easy for you guys. <laughs> thank you, it thank looks, you, Juan. It looks like it's getting easier for you guys. Very, very easy. <laughs> very easy, very easy. <laughs> Do we have one more volunteer for this one? Me, teacher. Thank you, Manuel. Read your sent your question in past, and Olga is going to report it. Did the car was paint? Mm, I said, yeah, was the car painted, right? Was the car painted? painted. Mm -hmm. Fue pintado okay. el carro, right? Okay. Huh? Was the car painted, Olga? Manuel asked me. If the car has mm -hmm. been painted, 
Ted. <laughs> Angel, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yesterday. <laughs> yes, correct. Okay. And this is a clue. Esto solo es como una pista. Lo voy a decir en español de nuevo. Porque dicen que no han visto ese tiempo gramatical desde hace cuántas semanas. <laughs> Para past perfect. ¿Cuándo ocupo el been? Sí, está involucrado el verbo to be. En este caso, no había verbo to be, ¿verdad? Solo decía, did she work? He asked me if she had worked. Pero si así va involucrado el verbo to be, ahí lo voy a usar en participio, been. Was the car painted? Ahí está el verbo to be, was. Así que, Manuel asked me if the car had been painted, right? In this case, had been es el participio de del verbo was. to be, was. Correct. Very good, guys. You did it correct. <laughs> nice. And now we're going to go with the last one. Y vamos con la última. Cajita, who was number three? ¿Quién tenía que leer la cajita número tres? Box number three. Me, teacher. Please. Mm, will, will. Mm -hmm. Customer. Will the laptop be delivered on Monday? Report speech. The customer inquired if the laptop will be delivered on Monday. Um, customer, will the shipping cost increase with premium delivery or not? Report speed, the customer asked if the shipping cost would increase with the premium delivery. All right, thank you. Okay, entonces vemos. Si me están preguntando en futuro utilizando will, yo voy a reportar esa pregunta en pasado usando would. Ok, would. Ok, futuro. Will the laptop be delivered on Monday? Reportándola en pasado de would. The customer inquired if the laptop would be delivered. Ese inquired puede cambiar, puede ser ask, wanted to know, cualquiera de esos. Right, that's up to you guys. Eso es para que ustedes decidan. So right now, everybody has to write one question, yes or no question, using will. Escriba cada uno de ustedes una pregunta de sí o no, utilizando will, el futuro con will. Todas van a ser iguales. Will you, will he, will we, ok. Así que escriban una pregunta de sí o no, utilizando el futuro con will. You have two minutes. Tienen dos minutos. You know, guys, every night I prepare tea for the test and I never finish the tea. <laughs> Okay, the ones that have this sentence pin, the, the question already written down, let's begin. Raise your hand. Levanten la mano los que ya terminaron y vamos con ustedes. Los que ya tienen su pregunta en futuro. Pregunta de sí o no en futuro. Okay, we're going to start with Tatiana. Please read your sentence. Maria Elena, you're going to report it in the past of will. Okay. Will she travel to Colombia next year? Repeat, please. Will she travel to Colombia next year? She asked if she traveling, traveling 
con Colombia. Okay. Y vamos a hacer el mismo ejercicio de nuevo para ayudarles. Okay. Um, Tatiana, please repeat your question. Espera. Will she travel to Colombia next year? Ok, vamos, María. Quería ask it me. She asked it. Uh -huh. Y el condicional. If she traveling. If she. ¿Cuál es el pasado de will, María? Will. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿qué voy a poner acá? Good. If she would travel. travel. Y todo lo demás. De Colombia. Colombia next year. Uh -huh. Ok. So, basically, in few words, en pocas palabras. Okay. Me can be, uh, be black. Uh -huh. Ok. So, en pocas <laughs> palabras, si me están preguntando con el will, lo único que voy a hacer cuando reporte es que voy a mencionarlo como would. Ok. That's the only change. Very good, Maria. Thank you. Tatiana, thank you. Maria, read your sentence in future, your question in future, please. Olga, you're going to report it, please. Um, will you play with me, Doom? Will you play with me? Doom. Okay. Will you play Doom with me, Saria? Doom with me. Uh huh. Olga? He asks. Mm -hmm. If If we play. Como es una pregunta, you se la están haciendo a usted. Sería primera persona, if, I. If I would play. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. With her. Correct. <laughs> yes, very good, Olga. It looks easier now, right? Ya se va sintiendo más fácil, ¿verdad? <laughs> very good, Maria. Thank you, Olga. Thank you. Yeah. Olga, please read your sentence in future. Juan de Dios, please report it. Hey, would you be in my party? Uh -huh. During mute one. Sorry. She asked me if I would. Uh -huh. Be in her party. Yes, correct. <laughs> yes. Muy importante. Si se fijaron, Juan de Dios hizo una pausa para asegurarse si el siguiente verbo lo iba a dejar tal cual estaba. Y la respuesta es sí, porque este es un auxiliar. Cuando hay auxiliar, el verbo que le sigue se queda en su forma base. Very good, Juan. Thank you, Olga. Juan, please read your sentence, your question in future. Manuel, please report it. Okay. Will the students finish the platform on time? La pregunta del millón. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, he won't. <laughs> Will the student finish the platform on time? After, after this exercise, exercise maybe. <laughs> yes, ya vemos la luz ahora. <laughs> Manuel, please yes. report it. Okay. Juan asked me if the student will finish the platform on time. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yay. <laughs> yes, correct. Thank you everyone who participated. You did great. Now, speaking of the platform, <laughs> now that you mentioned the platform, we're going to check one of the homeworks. Vamos a chequear otra de las tareas, ¿de acuerdo? So, we have 2.2. Esta ya la habíamos hecho, porque esta ya se las había dado. 
corríjanme si me equivoco. Esta ya la tienen no. todo completa, ¿verdad? Yes, no. 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 Okay, no. okay we're going to check it then. So, read the following commands and type them using reported speech. Van a usar el verbo que está en paréntesis. Use the verb in brackets. Okay. Number one. He said exercise regularly. Vamos a ver cómo lo pondrían ustedes. Usando tell en pasado. He told me. Mm -hmm. He told me. He told me. Exercise. To exercise regularly. Remember, um, esta parte es importante, right? Cuando es un command, por lo general va a llevar el to, después si lleva un objeto, después va el to infinitivo, right? He told me to exercise regularly. Okay. Number two. Don't Turn off the lights. Order. Utilicemos la palabra order para, para reportar esa orden. Ese comando. He ordered to. Uh -huh. He, he ordered. ordered. Uh -huh. He ordered. He ordered me. me. He ordered me. me. Uh -huh. Turn off the lights. To not turn off the lights. Correct. Yes, very good. ¿Por qué se queda esta oración, esta parte en presente? To not turn off the lights. Porque ya hicimos aquí el cambio no. pasado. El cambio pasado se hace en el primer verbo. Ok, very good. Number three. The sign says, don't drink and drive. The sign requests. Request. Uh, request. El pasado request. Request. Mm, request. The sign requested. To not. To not. To not bring and drive. Drink. Drink. Drink and drive. <laughs> All right. Number four. She said, keep quiet. She 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 to keep quiet. To keep quiet. To keep quiet. Very good. Yeah. Number five. He told her, go and lie down. Uh, no cambia, teacher. No cambia. He told her. He told her. Aquí, aquí está en... en en active, en active voice, right? Aquí está, está repitiendo. ¿Se acuerdan? Ese es direct speech. Yeah. Ese okay. es direct speech. Cuando repetimos tal cual lo dijo la palabra, la persona. Ella dijo, ve y acuesta. Ve y recuesta. Ahí estamos Me repitiendo recuesta. literal. Esa es direct speech. ¿Ok? Direct speech. Yo lo voy a cambiar a reported speech. ¿Cómo lo haríamos? Sí. Exactamente lo que han estado haciendo en las anteriores. He, he had told her. He had told her. Eso could, that could be one option. He had told her. He had told her. Uh -huh. yeah. ¿Qué falta ahí? To. Correct. To go and lie down. Yes. Um, to go and lie down. All right. And then, number one, do you, this one says convert the direct yes or no question to indirect, case reported, no? So my neighbor, my new neighbor, David, asked me, do you live with your family? Teacher, eso usted lo puso aquel día, dio las respuestas. Yes, de eso le dio las respuestas, correct? Sí. So it's what I was no, asking no, you guys. No. Es lo que les estaba preguntando. Esta es la sí. segunda vez que pongo esto. <risa> Así que ahora es cuando, por favor, tomen nota. Si pueden capturarlo, tomarle foto y le llenen la plataforma, right? 
Segunda y última okay. vez, por cierto. <ríe> All right. Dice, fijan, estas estaban correct. Todas las que ustedes dijeron, ¿ve? he ordered not to turn off the, light, the lights. The sign says, ah, perdón, the, the sign requests not to drink and drive. Esta parte es importante, miren, y la voy a decir en español. Por lo general nos dice, cuando hay commands, cuando son órdenes, lo vamos a cambiar al tiempo anterior de, de en el que sea la orden. La excepción es, con, es cuando la orden está en presente, en presente simple. The sign says, don't drink and drive. Esto es algo permanente, es como ongoing, algo que siempre pasa, el, el, el rótulo siempre va a decir eso. Entonces acá no necesito cambiar la pasado. Miren, y se reported the speech y se quedó en presente. The sign requests not to drink and drive. Cuando la oración está en presente, no siempre van a estar obligados a cambiar el pasado. ¿Ok? Por lo general sí, pero si es algo que, se, que va a suceder con constancia o con frecuentemente, no se cambia. ¿Ok? Solo para que tengan eso en mente, ¿right? Ok. Um, yes. Y asegúrense con esta, por favor. Ok. Do you, do you learn? Are we done with this? ¿Ya estamos listos con esta? No, sorry. Yes. Mueva okay. la de arriba, por favor. ¿Acá? <laughs> Esa es. Ajá. Yes. <laughs> Are we ready? Yes. Okay, we're gonna move to the next one then. 2.5, homework 2.5. Match the terms related to online shopping to the corresponding meanings. Okay, esto, alguno de estos lo vimos ayer, right? Sí. Reliable. Okay, everybody mm -hmm. has this one completed? Ya todos tienen esta. Ok, I'm trying to help you, pero si no me contestan, no puedo leer mentes. No. Is everyone, has everyone no. completed this one? Ok. Oh, yes. Pero okay. eso no hay tanto problema, Tisha, que solo es de contestar la correcta. Ok. Reliable. No, report uh, speech son las que no. El report no speech es lo más difícil. Ah, uh, ok. Bye. Entonces, si sienten que con esta no necesitan ayuda, no, vamos tisha, a dejar ahí. No hay problema con esa. Yo esa sí ya lo hice. Todo lo puedo hacer. Claro, <laughs> Ok, sí, no, la verdad es que esta respuesta por Ok. Ahí es, sí, necesitamos ayuda. Ok. <ríe> ok, number nine. My neighbor asked me. Aquí solo van a convertir las preguntas de WH a reported speech. Ok. Así que para esto, how many children do you have? Ok. Do we have volunteers in this one? Um, my neighbor who asked me. My new neighbor asked me. Yes. If. Uh -huh. teacher, y lo podemos poner acá. My new neighbor asked me. ¿Y qué le dije yo ayer? Si está el do, um, cuando lo reporto, no se ocupa. My neighbor asked me. How many children I had? I had. No voy a decir, he asked me how many children did I have. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, Hay una opción cuando se puede pasar, pero no es esta. Okay. Um, how many children I had? Number two, where do you work? Vuelvo y copio eso siempre. My new neighbor asked me where. I worked. Where I worked. Okay. Do you ya no se usa? Mm -mm. Cuando la cambio reported, ya no. Ya Solo no. si es negativa. Si es negativa, sí, porque es mandatorio. Okay? ok. Number three. When did you move to this city? My new neighbor asked me. When I moved to the city. When 
had I moved to the city? Or when I moved to the city? When I moved. Okay. Mm. When I moved uh. to the city. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the last one, my new neighbor asked me. When? when y ahí, ¿qué pasa con Will? Will. Will. Exactly. When, I will. when will. would I? Will. When would I or when I would? When I would. Um, would I? Would I? My furniture. Well, I my furniture. Okay. okay. In case you want to check it. Yes. yes. When I would. This is what when you're going to You have two seconds to take a screen of this, people. <laughs> and I am not going to show it again. Are we done? Are we ready? Yes. Okay. So that's going to be it for tonight. We're going to take attendance for the last time tonight. So be ready, please. Ana Raquel Villalta. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar. Present. Thank you. Claudia Maria Melendez. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Diana Elizabeth. Jorge Humberto Vela. Present. Teacher. Thank you. Jose Jonathan Vigil. Jose Rodrigo Hernandez. Juan Carlos Rivas. Juan de Dios Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you, Linda Yvette Marquez. Manuel Antonio Palma. Present teacher. Thank you, Maria Concepcion Cerón. Maria Elena Guadalupe. Present. Thank you, Mario Ernesto Villeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Nelson Gabarrete Marino. Present miss. Thank you, Norma Carolina Villeda. Olga Marleni Gómez. Present. Thank you, Olga. Usted se quedó ayer. No. Sí, teacher. Ah, ok. Entonces ahora le sería. Ajá, pero Silvia no está. Silvia Suleima no está. Tatiana Michelle me dice si se puede quedar para su asesoría, por favor. Sí, teacher. Thank you. Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Y Cristian Natalia Erazo. All right. That's going to be it for tonight. Estamos al día con las tareas hasta ahorita, después de este repaso. Entonces, no tendría que haber nadie atrasado en estas tareas para la semana. All right. A medida que vayamos avanzando los temas, vamos a ir resolviendo la plataforma así como hicimos ahorita. ¿De acuerdo? Okay, okay. okay. ¿Qué tarea tenemos night, que everyone? tener? ¿Hasta qué tarea tenemos que tener ahorita? Ahorita hasta la que acabamos de ver, la 2.5, les dije. 2.5. Uh -huh. Para el viernes. 2.5. Hasta para hoy. No, para hoy, ah. para hoy no. tiene que estar completada la 2.5. Okay. Yes. No se atrasen ya, porque el que sábado, quería sábado en la mañana subo notas, así que. Tienen que estar al día para el viernes en la noche. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, se había quedado María ahí. Hi, how are you, Tatiana? <laughs> Pretty good, teacher. How are you? Perfect, doing great. Dígame, ahora estamos, tenemos 10 minutos para repasar cualquier tema que usted necesite reforzar. Eh, eso tenía duda, pero con el repaso que hizo ahora, lo que pasa es que yo estaba, bueno, me, me ha trasladado en la plataforma porque no me salía. La verdad que eso era nada más, pero ya con lo que hizo ahora, creo ya, ya lo voy a poder completar. Y porque ah, okay. ya, ya me quedó mucho más claro lo del reported speech con la con lo que hicimos ahora de, de ir haciendo la oración. All right, I finally was worried. Yes. Si, si veo que lo entienden casi las veces que lo hemos explicado veo que lo entienden lo captan, pero a la hora de la práctica ya no ahí es cuando nos confundimos. Entonces uh -huh. creo que en vez de estar solo practicando los ejercicios del libro 
así como uno por uno lo escribimos y convertámoslos todos juntos para que todos vayan viendo el orden. Es más fácil de, de que se nos quede. Eh, mañana vamos a hacer lo mismo, pero con las preguntas de información que cambian un poquito porque ya no llevan condicional, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Y en algunas se quita el do, y lo que estábamos viendo ahorita, Tatiana. Así que, si tenía dudas de eso, no se preocupe que mañana lo vamos a revisar también. <risa> vamos a hacer exactamente el mismo tipo de, de ejercicio para que repasemos eso, ¿ok? Antes okay. de empezar la siguiente unidad. Um, no sé si hay algún otro tema que usted quiera refrescar o tenga dudas, Tatiana. No, yo creo que todo está bien al momento. Lo que estaba viendo que no tenía tanto problema, era como me está costando leer, pero no sé si es que yo estoy un poco ahorita que, no sé, es lo mismo del cansón, porque no tengo tanto problema para leer, pero no sé si es que algo a mí me está fallando la vista, no sé pero sí he sentido que últimamente me ha costado leer <ríe> es lo único mm, sí, que le ha costado por porque yo sentí que lo llovía no le escuché que estuviera Ah. Ah, mala pronunciación y mala gramática nada cuando estaba leyendo Tatiana ah, que, vale. ah, quizás lo único cuando hace alguna pausa es cuando no conoce cómo se pronuncia la palabra pero usted sí. misma me pregunta cómo se pronuncia entonces o sea eso más que normal pues no no es que vaya me, ah. me afligiría si usted solo leyera la palabra como usted cree y no preguntara ahí sí me fijo <ríe> por eso okay. no usted hace la pausa y pregunta y se asegura entonces, very good that's Realmente va bastante bien, Tatiana, la felicito. Asegúrese de completar la plataforma para que no se le atrase. Sí, <ríe> ¿Ok? Sí. Así que entonces eso sería todo. Cualquier cosa estoy a la orden, Tatiana, ¿ok? Bueno. Nos puede gracias. contactar por WhatsApp también, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Thank Have you. Have a good night. Take care. Sí. See you tomorrow, Tatiana. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye. Good night.